This is Prince Dice. This is Royal Financials. Today's topic is going to be how did I make 42% returns in a three-day period. So um, I'm going to break down everything. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. If you don't understand it, just walk through. Uh, let me. I'm going to walk you through it later on in the uh, video. But I'm just going to first tell you what I did. So um, on Monday, um, Aikman came out. He's the biggest investor in JC He owns like 18% of the shares. He came out and said, hey, I'm going to sell all of my stake and shares around the October, November time frame. So when I see an investor talking about selling all of the stock, that lets me know that that stock is probably going to drop. So by knowing that stock is going to drop, I know that I can place, I can buy contract puts on this stock, and when it drops, I can make money that way. And uh, JCPenney was trading at $13.50 on Monday. And today, uh, August 29th, is trading at $12.50, and that's how I made a 42% profit. I know a lot of people are like, well, the stock dropped, how did you make money? But don't worry, I will explain that to you. To all the people that are familiar with option trading, they understood what I just said. But for everybody else, exactly what happened here. I'm going to draw down a little whiteboard. This is exactly what happened here. Um, JCPenney was trading at $13.50 on Monday. Um... When um, the guy announced that, hey, I'm going to sell all my stock, I kind of figured JCPenney would drop down to $12 within the next month. So knowing that JCPenney would drop down to uh, $12 in the next month, that's what I predicted. Because I figured when people, as a common investor, when they see something like this big happening in the company, they know, okay, maybe this insider knows something I don't know, and I want to get out of here. I want to sell off all my stock before I lose my money. So I know when everybody gets into a massive sell-off, it drops the stock. Now, in option trading, you can make money by seeing a stock drop. And let me show you. So what I did was I brought 10 contracts. One contract equals 100 shares. One contract, 100 shares. A share is a stock. So I brought 10 contracts. So that lets me know that I have 1,000 shares. I brought 10 contracts with an expiration date. This contract expires September 27th. That's the expiration date. I brought 10 contracts for the strike price of $13. I brought puts. These are called puts because I'm betting against the stock. The strike price is this is going to give me my ability to sell this stock in the future for this particular price. So my contract allows me to be able to sell 1,000 shares and this is JCPenney. JCP is the stock symbol. It allows me to sell 1,000 shares of JC Penny for thirteen dollars um, all the way up until September twenty seventh. So now today as of August 29th JC Penny is trading at twelve dollars and fifty cents. So now the average person that wants to buy or sell this stock is for twelve dollars and fifty cents. But since I have a contract stating that I can um, sell this stock for thirteen dollars my contract has value. So on Tuesday morning, I purchased this contract for roughly around $700. And as of Thursday, this contract value has increased all the way to over $1,000. That's roughly how I made 42%. So what I can do, I can just sell this contract and make a 42% return. But I think JCPenney is going to drop a little bit more. Actually, I think it's going to drop to 11 but once it gets to 12 you know, that was my strategy before I walked into it. So, again, I said again, I brought an option. This is called an option trading. I put a put against JCPenney. I knew the stock was going down. I brought a put, 10 contracts, to be able to sell JCPenney at $13. That price is called a strike price at $13 all the way into September 27th. So, as of today, the stock is trading at $12.50 something cent. My contract has gained, it gains more and more value as JCPenney does bad. This is how investors make money off of the market when the market is doing bad. In an unstable market, an investor that wants to make money has to be unstable as well. You can't do what you want to do, you have to do what the market tells you to do. So, this is how I made a 42% return in three days. Thank you guys for watching. If
that uh, was a little confusing to the average person. It might be. It took me a little while to get it myself, but uh, just shoot me a comment or a, uh, a message, and I would definitely and I would definitely and gladly go into it more in depth. But that is essentially the the gist of it. That's what I did. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to everything. And appreciate you guys for the support. Thank you. Have a nice day.